Today's Marvel Snap deck highlight has quickly become my favorite devil dinosaur deck to play in Marvel Snap. Let's go ahead and dive into the details and talk about why this is the case. Devil Dinosaur, for those not familiar, is the five energy base three power card that has a potent ongoing effect of getting plus two stats for every card in our hand. An ideal end game for this deck is we play our Devil Dinosaur on turn five, and then on turn six, we play out Mystique, who can copy Devil Dinosaur's ongoing effect. And then with our remaining three energy on turn six, we play out Agent Cole. Colson, who not only has four stats himself, but generates two cards for our hand, which gives an additional four stats to Mystique and additional four stats to our Devil Dinosaur. Now, when talking about a more common archetype like this, in this case, Devil Dinosaur, it's often worth noting cards that are missing just as much as ones that we're playing. And you'll note here that Moon Girl is notably absent in this list. The reason for this is simple. This deck, in addition to Agent Coulson, is playing a lot of other cards that generate extra things in our hand. Sentinel creates a copy of itself. Maria Hill gives us a random one cost. Cable grabs the card from our opponent's deck. And Agent 13 gives us a completely random card from the game. Because of all this other random card generation that this deck has access to, Moon Girl is frequently unable to copy the thing that we care about most, in this case, Devil Dinosaur, because our hand is so full with other things. And when we play Moon Girl, filling our hand, this actually makes us less likely to have Devil Dinosaur and importantly Mystique to follow up that uh, the, the Devil Dinosaur in the late game. One piece of innovation that I think is also really fantastic in this deck list is the inclusion of Psylocke, despite the fact that you will note we don't have any four energy plays for Psylocke to accelerate into. What we do have in this deck, however, is an incredible number of two and one energy plays, which we would love to flood the board with on the third turn. So Psylocke is often a two energy play in this deck, allowing us to play two two drops or a two drop and two one drops on that third turn. Cosmo is the final card that's worth calling out here on reveal effects don't happen in Cosmo's path. You note that this does conflict with our many on reveal ourselves, but this card's most key use is to protect our devil dinosaur. Shang-Chi, Rogue, uh, Enchantress, all these cards hurt our Devil Dino a lot. Another very common play we'll execute with this deck is on turn five, we Dino, and then on turn six, we'll Mystique to copy the Dino, and then we'll deploy Cosmo to the Dino path, making sure that our opponent can't disrupt our biggest threat on the final and most important turn of the game. At any rate, I hope you enjoy the game highlights with this deck. I think one thing this kind of archetype is really going for is the gameplay is incredibly dynamic just because we're generating random cards and drawing cards from our opponent's deck. So they all tend to play out very differently game to game, which is a lot of fun to both play with and watch. If you do find yourself enjoying it, be sure to tap that like button to help this video reach more people. And if you happen to be new here, consider subscribing to the channel. I try to post a different, unique Marvel Snap deck highlight here seven days a week. I'd love to see you back again. But for the rest of today, enjoy some Agent Coulson Devil Dinosaur. Chat, what do I want for lunch? Christy's Christy's grabbing something and she said I can pick whatever I want. What do we what do we want to eat? Sushi, no. How greasy do I want to be is the question. Burgers. I'm usually more like sandwich or taco inclined. Well, we got their mystique. So Zabu plus their mystique probably means that there is a. Oh gosh, and I we have our mystique too. This is so good. Our hand's actually kind of nuts, huh? Is this deck cracked yet? Did our did our viewer break Dino? a little scary here.
Do I need more than 10 to win the left? We're obviously not winning here. What if they rock slide into Surfer? We win. Korg could get us. I, I think I'm supposed to go all in here. I think, I think I'm supposed to go all in in the middle. It's close though. We're gonna lose to Max Surfer with this line. Yeah, that's true. Do we beat Max Surfer regardless though? It'd be 16. Yeah, we beat Max Surfer if I split the difference here. Yeah, I, think I'm, I think I'm supposed to go all in, man. It's so close though. Well, this is one that I'm not really sure which way we're supposed to be going. Monka Iron Man, just a bust. Nailed it. Nailed it. Better, better players will progress up a ranked ladder faster, but just because you progress doesn't mean you're better. There's definitely a volume of games factor that goes into all of these things. Uh, I don't usually bother covering the random miscellaneous events they run in Marvel Snap because um, they're usually not accessible on the PC client. They usually give a middling amount of rewards anyways. Face the might of All right, well, we're playing against Leech Leader. It's likely the case. Maximus, Scorpion, Thor, all Leech Leader cards. Scorpion's like one of the only other two drops that comes remotely close to providing six power worth of stats. And even, even then it's usually only like four or five at most. Okay, well we didn't get, we didn't get leeched. Just do this, right? And this gives us... I think we're in an okay spot here. Although I, I guess they have, we have priority is bad for us. They didn't leader us, that's good for us. It's a Shang-Chi, do we win the left then? Sure do. Clean game. Yeah, we would have died to a leader there because we had priority. Victory. I like it. Oh, we could have Coulson and Agent 13. Okay, yeah, I missed two points over here. Technically, four points. Good shout out. No, wait, is that the same number of cards, though? I'd be down a card in my hand, and which would have made my dino in the middle smaller, right? Because I would have played out one more, and I would have generated the same number. Yeah, I think Agent Coulson's actually better because we don't know that our dino's dying in the middle. So I think I think I like hedging this being bigger here. Solid curve here, Quinjet into Hill into Agent Coulson, and then we've got Dino and Mystique here as well. Ooh, wow, that's actually incredible, right? Do we... We just do this now, right? Is this good? I think this is good. Are they Cerebro Bast, I think? Ooh, 
Ooh, blue marva helps us break Valk parity, potentially. We'll see if they have Cerebro too. They still beat us though. We have to try and win the breaker here. I doubt either of us can get into Death's Domain. Oh, they probably have armor actually. I would assume is the case, huh? We just go Blue Marvel into Cable, huh? Just get as many stats into here as possible. Don't have it. Yeah, this is this is part of the problem with the Cerebro 3 deck. Is that like... Oh, Sentinel would have been one more. Yeah, yeah, good call. When it doesn't have Cerebro, it just doesn't do a whole lot. Get to Psylocke on two, into double two drop on three here. Well then. You have a Mystique. I just need to play into here. Just choked on board space. We can still Chavez next turn if we want because of Quinjet. Devil Dino, eh? better now. Yeah, getting the Devil Dino now, down now in front of Leech is great. And then I think we... By Chavez here, we beat Leader, right? They're obviously the Leech Leader deck. Do I play Sentinel for three in one of these two paths or do I want the extra points over here? I think I want the extra points on the left. Yeah, thanks to the leader nerf, I actually don't have to play Sentinel in the middle here. Because if they lead a right, they're losing here and they're losing here. And they'll win the middle, copying my Chavez. I think we just hold the Sentinel to keep the double dino bigger. Wanted to gamble that I was gonna play play right. Victory. Yes, so the thing to understand about being Series 3 complete and getting extra tokens is Series 3 complete is not a state that you get to and then are there forever. When they add new cards to Series 3, you have to recollect the new cards they added to Series 3 and then you'll go back to getting all of those things again. It's, it's very much a uh, on again, off again type thing for most people.
One of the things that really seems to confuse people about their understanding in the Marvel Snap economy is that when you become Series 3 complete, you don't stop getting the 100 token drops inside of the reserves. What happens is if when you open a reserve, if it has a card in it, and you, your Series 3 complete, the game goes, oh, this person's supposed to get a Series 3 card. They have all the Series 3 cards. Instead, they get two to 600 tokens. And then in addition to those, there are also still the 100 tokens reserves per group of four as well. So what happens when more cards drop down to Series 3, the game will go, oh, this person is missing a Series 3 card, give them a Series 3 card. Leech is fun. I enjoy getting leeched. Well, uh, I think we win, question mark. Any tips? My two favorite cards to play with Thanos is Quinjet is good in basically every Thanos deck, and then Lockjaw is also excellent. Ooh, chat. Normally we can't get into the Sanctum, but Agent 13 has our back. Sentinel into Machine World is kind of funny. They probably can't get into Sanctum. What cards, what cards would a Zabu deck play that could get into Sanctum, Chip? There's a specific amount of match you play with the viewer deck. I play decks for at least a half hour. And if I really like them, we sit and chill on them for a good long while. closed as plus 10 enough to win the right it might be it might be I'm gonna stay some of these decks played Chavez we beat Chavez they didn't copy their hawk at all I think, I think we're good to go Some play Magneto. I haven't seen too much of that. I guess we saw that in the previous game. For beating leader. <laughs> oh, yes. The classic Zabu arrow leader deck. Just put it at everything, chat. Just put it, put it at everything.
In your opinion, what rank does rank become more difficult and considered high rank? Um, when you get past 70, things start to slow down a little bit. On average, people start understanding how to snap and retreat better and play a little bit more conservatively. a little late here. All right, so they have my double dinosaur. Their hand is a good number of cards in it. There's Devil Dino. We have Mystique for over here. So we're hoping to draw Coulson for the last turn. probably isn't enough here, unfortunately. We'll see. Have a lot of cards. Can play, play a lot of cards. Base J, thank you for the brand new Prime. And Pino, thanks to you over three and a half years. We got opponent. I'm up by 13. Is that enough? Victory. Ah, last second retreat leader gamers trying to extract every drop of equity for one cube. Thanks for being one of the awesome people that made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember your likes and comments help videos grow with engagement and be sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I post Marvel Snap game news updates, deck highlights, and other fantastic stuff here seven days a week. We hope to see you back again real soon.